Hello and welcome back to Linode. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to create and restore an image backup of our server. And we'll also take a look at the backup service as well, which is something awesome that we can implement that'll give our server a layer of protection in case we need to restore it to a previous point in time. So let's dive right in. All right, so in this first segment, what we're going to do is work on creating images and also restoring images. Before we get started, though, there are a few things I'd like to make you aware of. And the first is that Linode images are limited to about six gigabytes of data per disk. And what that means is that if you are using more than six gigabytes of storage space on your Linode, and then you try to go ahead and take an image of it, then that image is going to fail to create because once the creation process hits that six gigabyte barrier, then it's going to actually fail and then the image will be automatically deleted. So just make sure you check that first. Now second, you are limited to three images per account. So that doesn't include backups. We will be covering backups in the second segment of this video. Just keep in mind when it comes to images specifically, you can only have up to three. Now finally, it's recommended to shut down your Linode before you create an image. You don't have to do that. You could certainly create an image of a Linode that's running, but it's highly recommended to shut down the Linode first because you have a better chance at getting a clean image if the Linode isn't running while you're taking it. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Now here I'm logged into my demo account and I have two Linodes on the list here. And what I'm going to do is use the second Linode on this list as an example for this video. As you can see from the title, it is a WordPress instance, and actually, here it is. Now, I haven't actually configured anything. What you are seeing here is what you get when you use the Linode Marketplace to create an instance. There's actually a bunch of pre-made Linodes that you can choose from the Marketplace, and this is the WordPress option that is available there. So back here on the Linode dashboard, what I'm going to do is click on the droplet that I want to create an image of, because first I want to go ahead and check the size. So I'm going to grab the IP address. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Linode via SSH. So I'll go ahead and paste in the IP address. And there we go, we are connected to the Linode via SSH. So what I'm going to do right now is just check and see how much space I am currently using on the Linode to see whether or not I am under the six gigabyte limitation. So if I run df-h, we can see that I am only using about 1.6 gigabytes of space, as you can see right here. So that means I'm well underneath that ceiling. Now back here on the dashboard, where it shows running as the state for the Linode, I'm going to go ahead and just power it off. You don't have to do that, but it's highly recommended so you have a better chance of getting a clean image. So this Linode is definitely shut down, so we should be all clear to go ahead and create an image. To do that, we actually have the images option right here on the left, so I'll click on that. Now here we would actually see a list of images if we did have any. I don't have any currently. And again, you can have up to three, so let's go ahead and create one. I'll click Add an Image. And the first step is to select a Linode. So I will choose the WordPress Linode. And then we'll select a disk. There's only one anyway, so I'll select that. So next we can go ahead and create a label, and this will help us identify the image on the list. So I'll just call mine example. So for the description box, you could put in whatever notes you'd like that is relevant to the image. Maybe something like what the image is for, what does it contain, things like that. So just put some notes in here if you'd like. I'll go ahead and put in example image but you get the idea. You can write in whatever notes you'd like. And then finally, to kick off the process, we click the blue Create button right here. And we can see that the image is now being created. So what I'm going to do is let it finish, and then I'll be right back. Now, once the process has completed, you should see your image on the list like you see here on my screen. But as you can see here, I have the image that is called Example. It tells me when it was created, when it expires, and the actual size of the image right here. So now that we have an image, what can we do with it? Well, we can restore it, of course, and we can restore it to a new Linode, or we can even use it to replace an existing one as well. So right here in the images section, which is exactly where we already are, I can go ahead and click the three little dots right here. 
and I get an option to restore to an existing Linode or I can use it to deploy a new one. So I'll go ahead and choose a second option here. And we can see that the images section is pre-populated. If I click the down arrow right here, you can select a different image if you've selected the wrong one. I only have the one anyway, so that's fine. And then we could choose the region. Doesn't really matter. I'll use uh, Toronto because, you know, Canada is awesome. And then we can choose the plan for the Linode that we're about to create. And this is the exact same thing as if you were creating a fresh Linode. I'll just choose the Nanode of one gigabyte. I think that's fine enough for this test. And we could go ahead and give it a label. I'll just call it Restored Linode. We can add tags if we'd like. I'll put in the password here. Now another option worth considering is the backups option that you see here, which is going to basically have an additional charge for the Linode. In this case, it's going to cost an additional $2 per month. But I highly recommend that you select this if the Linode is production critical or important in any way. It just gives you extra peace of mind. I'll talk more about backups in just a moment. And then here we see the price for the Linode. This is going to cost a total of $7 a month in this case. I'll click Create. So now we are creating a brand new Linode from the image that we've saved. So I'll let this finish and then I'll be right back. Now after the new Linode has finished being restored from the image, we can launch the console to see if it's finished booting. See if it's ready. And it actually is. So we have an IP address right here, so I'll go ahead and copy that. And then we can paste it into our browser and see whether or not it's working. As you can see here, it's actually restored. This is an exact copy of the other Linode, but with a different IP address. The original one was right here, which I chose to shut down so that I could get a clean image. And I did start that up in the background, so it should be running now. Let's go ahead and see. And we can see that it is. So I have two Linodes with the exact same content as you can see right here, because I took an image of the one and restored it to the other. Now, before we move on, we go back here to the images section. We might want to consider deleting the image if we're never going to use it again. Because, you know, like I mentioned earlier, you can have up to three images on your account. So it's a good idea to clean them up if you're no longer going to use them. Now you can certainly keep the image here if you'd like to have a good starting point. An image is great if you want to basically have some things baked right into the image. Maybe some users that you create or some packages that you want to have pre-installed when you deploy a new Linode. But again, if you are no longer going to use it, you may as well delete it. So what I'm going to do is click the three dots right here. And then the delete option is the very last one. I'll click on that. I'll confirm it. And there you go. The image has now been deleted. Next, let's talk about backups. So as you saw earlier, when I deployed a new Linode from an image, it asked us whether or not we wanted to enable the backup service. So anytime you create a Linode, it's going to give you that option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. I'll create a Linode. I'm not actually going to go through the whole process, but anyway, if you scroll down, you'll see here that we have a backups option. And the price is dependent on the plan that you select. So up here where you get a list of all the Linode plans that are available, you select the one that you want. I'll choose the first option, and then if we scroll down, we can see that now it tells us that this service is going to cost us an additional $2 per month. And this price will vary based on the Linode plan that you select. But what you want to do is check this box to have that enabled when you create a new Linode, and then you get the final price here on the right. So for the Nanode plan, then it totals up to be about $7 a month. So down here you can see some important verbiage that tells you how the backups are rotated. So when you enable this service, you'll get a daily backup, and then you'll get a two to seven day old backup, and then an eight to 14 day old backup. Now this is great if you are creating a brand new Linode, but what if you already have one on your account and you want to enable this? Well, that's actually really easy to do. So you click on Linodes, then you select the one that you want to enable the backup plan for. So I'll select the WordPress instance here. Then you have a backups tab, then you could click down here to enable backups. But just above that, notice that it does show you how much extra it's going to cost for that Linode to get the backup service enabled. So in this case, being a Nanode, again, is $2 per month. 
And I think that's very inexpensive for the peace of mind that this gives you. So I'll click on Enable. And, well, that's actually all there is to it. Now the backup service has been enabled for this Linode. Now notice that we have automatic and manual backups listed right here. So we don't have any backups for this Linode at this point because we've just enabled the service. But you can also take a manual snapshot as well. So I'll just call this one Test Snapshot. Easy enough. I'll click the button here. Now before I click the Take Snapshot button, it does give you the notice that if you do a manual snapshot, it's going to override your previous snapshot. So just keep that in mind before you do this. And right now it's telling me that the snapshot is being taken and we have the progress up here so we can simply wait for that to finish. Alright, so our snapshot has finished being captured and here it is. Get some details about the backup here. We get a name, we get the label, the date it was created, how long it took to actually create the snapshot, and also information about the disks that are associated with that Linode. And we're good to go. Now also, if I scroll down here, you'll see that we have an option to choose the time of day and the day of week that the snapshot is going to be captured. If you drop this down, you get an option to choose a window. So for example, I can actually choose the midnight to 2 a.m. window, and then I could choose the day of the week that it's going to happen. So you do get control over when the snapshot is taken. The way this works is that the time of day that you select right here is going to determine when each day the daily snapshot is taken. So in my case, we will get a snapshot between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. every day. And then for the day of week, this is where we choose when the snapshot is going to graduate to become a weekly snapshot. So in my case, I set it to Sunday. So when Sunday's daily backup is captured, that will actually promote the backup to become a weekly snapshot. So I'll click Save Schedule to apply that change. So another setting that is worth pointing out is the fact that you can actually auto-enable the backup service for newly created Linodes. So to do that, if you click on the Account section, and then go to Settings, we have the option right here to back up all new Linode. So if I click this box, I've actually enabled that option. And then the next time I go to create a Linode, so I'll do that right now. I'll scroll down, choose the Nano just like before. And you can see that the backups option is automatically enabled and I can't disable it because with that option that actually mandates that all newly created Linodes will have the backup option selected. Now since this is a demo account, I'm going to go ahead and disable that. But I do recommend that you consider that if your Linode account is for production purposes. And then finally, to restore a snapshot, so if we click on the Linode that we want to restore, in this case I have this WordPress instance, and then we click on the Backups tab, we can go down here, click the three little dots, and here we have the same two options just like we had when we were restoring an image. So we can restore it to an existing Linode or we can use the backup to deploy a new Linode. And from there everything else should be the same as you saw earlier in the video. So I could select the Linode that I'd like to restore the backup to. I could choose the backup that's going to be restored to that instance. Just make sure that you've chosen the correct Linode and the correct backup to make sure that you don't overwrite something you didn't intend to. And then the rest of the options here, such as the Linode plan, should be the same as before. Again, we choose the label and then choose to enable the backup service if we would like to do that. So there you go. When it comes to restoring your Linode, you have a few options. You can create an image and restore that. You can enable the backup service and restore a backup. Linode provides you with tools that you can use to make sure that your Linodes are easy to restore if anything goes wrong. So there you go. We just saw two methods that we can utilize to take backups of our Linodes to restore them later. We can utilize image backups and we can enable the backup service which gives us a daily snapshot of our Linodes which is a great added layer of protection to have for sure. So if you haven't already done so, click that like button and definitely subscribe to 
because more content is on the way. Thanks for watching.